okay today I'll show you another like a small program with MATLAB how to how to expand a function using Taylor series okay uh, so we start with function out and call it tail to call it whatever you want to call it so Taylor function and then here a two um, like we have two we have to interface two values x naught and n x naught is the place where we need to expand Taylor series most of the expansion like people use it they expand Taylor series about zero but it's not necessary if the like your project or your, the problem you need to solve they ask you to solve to expand Taylor series in a specific value different than uh, different than zero then you can expand it at three negative three seven point five any value so I put it x naught in case if you want to expand it at zero put zero n is the number of term that the output of course Taylor series goes from zero to, to infinity but to, we are not going to go to infinity there is no RAM you can get this amount but you can put the number you like so that's the definition of x naught and n so I'll define n just n and then the two variable x and t and I'll tell you why I use t here it, I'm going to use it actually technically instead of x so t is x itself later I'll show you why I use two different letters and then so function the inputs then the program is going to ask you to enter the um, function you want to expand it using Taylor series and then let the program read it after that we start a uh, loop define some variables called terms starting from zero and then k is just an integer starting from zero and with n the number of terms so we are going to get n plus one terms because we starting from zero term equal to what equal term itself that's the zero at the beginning plus first term will be differentiate the function with respect to x and this k this is really good like um like we save a lot of time at lab does that for us this k it means the kth uh, derivative if k is 0 it means there is no derivative if k is 1 first derivative if k is 10 tenth derivative so it's really like most of the of the program like actually is done by by this function so th this one doing that and then multiply it by in, in Taylor expansion x to n I put t to n actually to k okay after that we need to divide by the factorial of the uh, of k and that's it that's these these are the term and end it at the end here I'm going to get this f equal terms is going to give me the last term which is all of them I mean by the last term of the loop here so first term is zero second term is just zero plus the first term second term will be zero first term second term right and then to the nth term so at the end here I'm going to get all of them okay semicolon it means blocked I don't want to see it but here I want to see it Where is it? Yeah, Taylor series equal the function itself. Okay, and here, take a look. X equal X naught. Well, here, when you have the expansion in terms of X and T, we need to evaluate the derivative because the derivative itself in terms of X. But X to K, I put it in terms of T to K hope you understand what I'm saying here and then when we need to evaluate the derivative so let x equal to x naught which is this the value you had entered the beginning to expand the 
uh, to evaluate the expansion at and then your, your 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 expansion at the end it will be in terms of t which is just a dummy labels okay let's let's um, try it with something we know so taylor c expand let's say at zero comma and let's say we need five terms okay what is your function my function sine x we know sine x it's an odd function enter okay okay that's the taylor series first term is t to one minus of the, you know the 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 first term when when k equals zero is zero because the um, because sine is um, odd function and so odd that's t to one and t to three and t to five t to seven t to nine and keep going so there is no t to two or four that's the name of the anyway you could try it for any other function if you have a problem uh, please email me at dr mahdawi at gmail.com okay hope you enjoy it and thank you